What is going on everyone, it's Mark and I'm back with another Final Cut Pro video for you guys. If you guys have been noticing, uh, it's a huge trend right now, especially with Taylor Cut Films. If you watch any of his Instagram stories, I wish I could show you um, from the desktop version of Instagram. But he does this cool vintage uh, film camera effect, so it's sort of like it was filmed on an uh, old Super 8mm um, film camera. And I've noticed a few other um, Instagrammers are starting to do this as well, Arnie Watkins sort of copy this effect and then a few other people I've seen have been using it too and I think it's really cool um, and super unique if you use this for either an actual video um, to replicate this film effect or even just when you're doing Instagram stories and editing them in Final Cut Pro. So what I created for you guys was a really um, customizable plugin um, for Final Cut Pro that you can go and download. Um, it is super good. There are 13 different aspects of the effect that you can customize, so I'm going to show you guys what you can do right now with this effect. So I know a lot of you are going to say that, oh, you have to pay for it. Um, so there is an effect built into Final Cut Pro called Super 8 Mil that you can drag on a clip. But it doesn't give you nearly the amount or nearly the control that I can give um, for this effect. So with the built-in one, you could just control the amount, the hue bias, and then grain. So really all it's doing is just applying a color correction and then applying grain to it as well. So this isn't nearly as customizable as the one that I have included. So if we delete that and drag in mine that I've created for you guys, you can see the 13 different effects um, and controls that are within the Super 8 film camera effect. So as you can notice, there is a brightness slider if you want to increase the brightness of the clip. Um, and then the brightness variance is the amount that it flickers sort of brighter um, or darker. So if you increase the variance, it's going to have a more drastic increase in terms of how much it flickers. Same thing for saturation. If you want to desaturate your clip, you can bring down the saturation. Um, and then saturation variance is the amount of variation again. And the next ones are really cool because this adds a whole bunch of the film grain overlays that you'll notice and that's what makes these film shots unique. So the scratches, as you can see, are sort of these vertical lines that appear across the frame. So if you want to get rid of those, just bring those to zero. Um, I like a little bit of them. I think it gives a more realistic interpretation. Um, and then hairs you can add. It's a little bit harder to see. Um, and then dust as well. And then grain, of course, if you want to make it super grainy, which I don't think looks as good. So we're going to dial that back just a little bit um, at around 20 is good. Jitter uh, is how much the clip is sort of going to jump around. So what happens with a film camera is as it goes around a reel, um, the shots don't perfectly align every time the individual frames. So there's going to be a little bit of bouncing around. And you'll notice that in Taylor Cut Films if you watch his stories. And then the focus of blur is the amount um, of Gaussian blur that is applied to the effect or to the clip. And the variance is how much that goes in and out of focus, which is really cool. And then finally, the effect opacity is how much of this effect is actually applied to the clip. So if you drag that to zero, we are back to our normal clips. You can drag this to wherever you'd like it to find sort of that sweet spot for your individual shot. But this is the clip, the effect for you guys. It is super powerful and I think a lot of you are gonna really enjoy it. And I really do appreciate all the support that you guys have been giving me on the latest few videos. I'm really trying to bust out at least one, hopefully two or three videos every single week for Final Cut Pro as well as Premiere Pro. So if you guys haven't subscribed yet, please subscribe down below and leave a like and a comment if you guys enjoyed this video. Thank you for all support as always, and I'll see you guys next time.